Unresolved problems segment tonight. Philadelphia authorities will not charge a bunch of vigilantes who chased and may have assaulted a man they thought molested a child. The incident was captured on tape, and you can see a guy with a stick. There's a stick whacking a fleeing man. Now, we're not going to give you the name of the victim, the guy getting wailed on here, because he hasn't been charged, although he is suspected in the child molestation beat. Joining us now from Philadelphia, Fox News analyst Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. And I was shocked when people told me that you don't think the vigilante should be charged with anything. Why? Well, we live in a world right now where uh, violence against women goes on constantly. Every two minutes, a woman is assaulted in this country, an overwhelming number of which is black. And typically, they, they go unreported. And when they do go reported, they often go under-investigated, under-prosecuted. People don't get justice. And people need to understand that violence against women is unacceptable. And this is one way to make that happen. All right. But then you're talking about anarchy. You're talking about people then. Because you, this guy hasn't been charged, this guy who was hit with the stick. Um, now, if he is charged, that ups it, no doubt, but he could be completely innocent, Professor. You know that. You can't convict a guy in the street like this, or you don't have any law anymore. Well, in a world where, again, people get assaulted every day and nothing happens, we already have anarchy. If every two minutes someone is sexually assaulted, if most rapes don't go, go unavenged, so, so to speak, then we already have anarchy So your solution is that, that people in a neighborhood, if they suspect somebody did something wrong, should beat the hell out of them? No, that, that's that. You're taking it to an extreme. What you have here is well, a situation wait, wait, wait. where I'm taking it to an extreme. I got a videotape. A guy with a big stick clubbing another guy. I'm not taking anything to extremes. Oh, I disagree but, but, with no, you but, here. I don't think these vigilantes what, and they got paid. Didn't they get a reward here? Twenty-five thousand bucks or something? What you're taking to the extreme is the idea that whenever there's a, sus a suspect for a crime, you beat the hell out of him. What I'm saying is here's somebody who, who the police named him as a person of interest. They had his picture up. They have physical evidence. They have videotape. They have, they have they, I mean, this is overwhelmingly compelling evidence. Th this is a different situation. Okay, okay. And we're talking about look, a child heard, rapist. If it's evidence, then the guy will be charged and he'll be convicted. And if he isn't, we'll do what we're doing in the Oklahoma situation right now. We'll expose well, the people uh, who aren't doing their jobs. But we'll just wait for a second. If all of this is true, I wouldn't mind those guys tackling the guy and holding him for the police to come, but you don't hit him with a stick, Professor. Look, think about what you're saying. You're saying, because all crimes aren't solved, particularly in poorer neighborhoods, um, that the people in those neighborhoods have a right to pick up a weapon, which is a stick, and beat the hell out of people they think, they think did the deed. This guy could no, be an that's, identical that's twin. He could, he could be... <laughs> he could look like somebody. He could, you know, come on. You can't be saying no, that. And, and, and you'd make a great defense attorney, Bill. But what, what I'm saying here is not that we should do this, that this should be the general rule of law. What I'm saying is that I have no sympathy for the, for the child rapist, number any, one. Look, if he and did number two, it, no, then I don't have any sympathy. No, if he's innocent, you got to have sympathy no, for him. No, if, if he's innocent, I, although over, I'm, I'm almost certain that he is not. But my point here is not about that. My point here is to simply say that whether or not he should be charged or not is a different issue. And, and, and or excuse me, whether or not the community should be charged is a different issue. I don't think the people who beat the hell out of a child rapist should be charged for beating him down in the street. That's all I'm saying. I'm not I, saying I that should know. be how I justice mean, is carried Professor, out. This is sounding like a real anarchistic point of view. We just had a it's case. It's not at all. We just had a case. Uh, that we discussed earlier in this program of Dr. Tiller being assassinated by a domestic terrorist. And the domestic terrorist says, look, uh, I believe that this guy was killing thousands of babies, and I'm going to put an end to it because I don't believe that's right. Now, we can't have that in our society. That's apples and oranges, though, Bill. That's Why? Apples Why? And What's the difference between this rotor guy thinking that he's preventing killing? He's preventing the them because Tiller isn't around anymore, okay? Here's and your guys taking a stick well, and hitting somebody who hasn't been charged with anything yet. What's the I'll difference? I'll tell you what. The difference is abortion is not illegal, and, we, and what you're dealing with there is a question about the relative weight of two different bad acts. I don't concede that beating up a child rapist is a bad act, so it's apples and oranges. Beating up a child rapist, to me, is not a morally repugnant thing. Shooting someone or killing someone in any circumstances is. It's against the law. You can't beat up somebody that you think did something. That's a crime. They could charge no, no, these guys if they wanted to. They, they, they absolutely could. But what I'm saying is it's not fair to compare punishing or, or, or killing someone for committing a legal act, abortion, with someone who's a child rapist. It's, it's apples but and oranges. But he hasn't been charged or convicted with that crime. Let, He's innocent Let me ask you a question, so Bill. Far. 
let me let me ask you a question, Bill. If we knew that he did it, would you be okay with the beat down no, in the street then? I wouldn't be because well, we can't well, have anarchy in issue. the street. We cannot but have anarchy in the street. We already have anarchy. Black female bodies are unprotected in America. That is anarchy right, right well, now. We I already have it. I don't believe we have anarchy in the street. I don't. And you do. So that's the difference.